Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, we will build multi-user Tutu application with the help of Python Django. Let me give you a glimpse of what we will creating. Multi-user Tutu application needs user authentication. So first user needs to sign up using username, email and password. So we enter username is Bulla and our email ID is Bulla at the red gmail.com and our password is and now we sign up as you can see that we transfer to login page now we have to enter the username so our username is bulla and our password is as you can see that we transfer to our to do page in this page we will create our task so our task is I have to do five DSA questions head task you can see that our to do is added now I want to edit this task so edit this task I want I have to do 5 days question so update task as you can see that our task is edited now I want to delete this task as you can see that our task is deleted now I want to log out this page so I as you can see that it transferred to the login page before we begin make sure you have python and django installed on your machine first of all we need to install python and django so we install python in our machine so, so download the latest version of python so install windows installer and download and install it now now we have to install django in our machine simply just type pip install so you can see that i already installed in uh, in my machine you can also install it in your machine now i am going to create a django project so open your command prompt Mm, and type django admin start project to do application so django created a to do application as you can see that to do application is created now we have to code in this so we write code as you can see that our vs code is open Django has created a to do app. In this to do app, manage.py we have got and, and settings.py we have to write our application name. So our application name is now we have to create a models.py file. So models.py in models.py we have to write a code from Django dot db import models from Django dot 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 auth dot models import user so this line imports the models module from django database abstraction layer the models module provides tools for defining and provide with database models which are python classes that represent database tables and their relationships and this line imports the user model from django authentication framework the user model represents the user table in the database and is a part of built-in authentication system provided by django
in database so now open your terminal and uh, redirect to your project folder cd to and uh, type command python manage dot py make migrations to do to do is our project name hmm, it will be migrations now we have to run one more command is python manage dot py migrate now create our super user python manage dot py create super user mm. and my address is bulla and the gmail dot password is password is to show right so our super user is created successfully first of all run one more command python manage dot py uh, run server so this command gives our gives me our server local server so our django is successfully created now open admin page enter username our username is bulla and our password is you can see that our admin page is logged out now open user only one user is there so now now we creating our template folder so folder name is templates in templates folder we store our all templates like html files now we need three template which is name is sign up and login and to do so first is sign up dot html and and second template is login page so html and third is our to do page so to do dot html so in sign up html first of all we have to load static using html file without load static we can't load our static files such as css and images and javascript so first of all we need a load static and now we type our html code our title is sign up now this time i am not writing any css because i already write this css so don't wasting on time on css only on we write html code so i added css files in our django project and now i am adding some font links so paste in head and control save now in body create a div dot sign up login in this div one more div is add div dot sign up box and in this div we have to create a form form and this time we need no need of action method equal to post in this form now add csrf token for security purpose and now create a div dot heading 
Hmm. Now in this right heading sign up. Now we need to link our uh, style sheet in this HTML code. So write link and write static. CSS index dot CSS create one more div for style and just it and now create div dot field in this we create our username and control s now we need input so input dot our class name is imp and the type is already text and it is required and placeholder enter your user and input name is name equal to fn name is used for in our models so we store this input in our models and now we create one more div dot field in this div we create our mail and input box input dot in and it is a email and it is also required and its name is email so this email is we save in our models and now we need one more div for password div dot field and in this we save our password password input for password input is password and our class name is imp and our name is pwd our input name is password so pwd and it is also required so everything is done now we need to submit this form so we need submit button so dim dot field and in this input box for submit input dot submit button and its type is submit and its value is sign up so our form is completed now we design more this so one more thing is added div dot field and in this we already have an account and we provide one more link so we type in anchor tag anchor and we have to transfer into login page so we type login and its class name is so our sign up page is completed now we have to check this our sign up page is working or not so open your terminal now type python manage.py run server Come on. Um, we are not in the in this directory so redirect to our project directory now type python manage.py run server now open this link first of all we have to create our url so we have to create a url of sign up so remove this commands So when user is on URL of a sign up page, so when user is at home page, 
so we redirect to sign up page so right use dot import views from level so much more import views and that's it now we have to write a view function of sign up so go into views so there is no views file so we create a new file of views.py so now from django dot from django dot shortcuts import render and redirect so basically render is used for uh, rendering an html file and redirect is used for redirect from one place to another so now we write our view function of sign up so def sign up when user request so render no return return render so we have to give our sign up page dot html now run our Django project so as you can see that our sign up pages can now we have to perform user when we enter this username email so when we submit this form that is not submitted because we not connect this form with models so we have to connect with models so if request equal to request the do, uh, dot method equal to equal to post so when user submit forms with the username so username is came into this with the help of django get method request dot post dot get so we have to get full length we have already gave this in this so this is a that now we want email id so request dot post dot get email and now we have to say a password our name is pass pw now we're printing our username email id and password in console so print now when we submit our form ayush ayush at the gmail.com password is going to and now sign up as you can see that nothing is there now you can see that our username email id and password is came into the console because we print these three into console now we have to store in the user so Django provides uh, user authentication so we store this in Django users so we have to import a user from Django from from Django dot country dot auth 
dot models import user so we have to store our email id username and password into models so we know we need our models so our model name is from to do import models from to do dot models import to do that's it now we have to create our user so my user dot objects dot create our user create user and with the help of username so username is fnm and our email id and uh, password and we have to save in our models so my user dot save and uh, we have to redirect to our login page if the user is sign up so return redirect login our sign up page is completed now we check our sign up page is working or not so username is amri amri at the red gmail.com password is going to now sign up now we have to check our data is stored in database or not so open your readme page and check user so nothing is there now we have to create one more file because our data is not showing in our database so admin dot by so first of all we have to import admin from django dot country admin and we have to also include our model name is to do so from to do dot models import to do and we have to register our model so in two admin sites so admin site model site to do that's it and control cell now refreshing our admin page so you can see that our to do is to do model is created in admin side but there is nothing now we have to create one user um, let's its name is umri and its email id is umri and there are gmail dot com password is and now sign up because we not made our login page this time so now open admin page and check our user is created or not so you can see that our user is created umri at the gmail.com now we have to make our login page now we copy the code of sign up because these all are same so control copy and now paste it and in this we have to change some login and the title is our login 
Don't have an account means we have to transfer into sign up page. Sign up. That's it. Now our login HTML is completed. Now same. Now we have to write our URL of login. So path when login then use dot. Hmm. That's it. Now we have to create a view function of uh, login. So login view function of login. So there login request. So we return our login page. And uh, we have to render our login HTML. So login dot HTML. That's it. Control S. And now now we again sign up Tommy. Yes. Tommy at the red gmail dot com password is one two three one two three sign up some errors so control s now we check our code is working now so our code is working okay now we enter our username. Username is valid. Email address will be under gmail.com. What will you do? And now we sign up. You can see that it transferred to our login page. Means that is working. Now we have to write our view function for working. So if the request dot method equal to equal to post then we need to get our username and password so username we store in fnm fnm equal to request dot post dot get in this we get fnm and our password is stored in pwd pwd equal to request dot post dot get now we print our username and password now save control s now open your terminal now go to home and again enter username tiger tiger at the red gmail.com and now sign up and now enter username so our username is tiger our password is and now login so we check our code is working or not you can see that our username and password is kept now we have to authenticate with our user 
so we have to import authenticate login and logout from Django. So from Django dot dot import authenticate login and logout and also let's now now we have to authenticate user with the uh, username and password so create user variable user equal to authenticate and in this we have to pass request and username equal to fnm and password equal to pwb and if user is not none then we log in request and user our user and a redirect to our to do page else return redirect redirect to login that's it our login page is successfully created there is one mistake now we check our login page is working or not so enter tiger and password is one two three one two three and now login so it redirect to our to do page but our to do page is not created this time so it is created an error so now we have to create our to do page now copy the code because it's a boilerplate code so control copy and now paste it in to do page and uh, we have to add one more CSS file. So, and its name is style. styles.css. And now our heading name is get things done. Now we have to remove unnecessary things from to do so we don't need of username so we remove this and we also no need of password so we removed and we no need of line so we removed and no need of submit this is also not and no need of this so we have to give our to do so we need a input input and type is text and the class is int and uh, name is title because we have to store in title and it is required placeholder is and today's Now we have to add the submit button. So input type is submit. And our class is submit button. And its value is add task. That's it. We have to only title required now we have to map the url of to do so in url file we have to include path to do page views dot to do 
and save. Now we have to create a views function of to do. So def to do when request if request dot method equal to equal to post then we have to get the other title so title title equal to request dot post dot get title and now we have to print our title in console so print title and now we have to save title in our models to do so object go to models dot to do object dot filter now we have to save only title so title equal to title and uh, when so in our models uh, to do uh, there are many users uh, have their own to do's so we have to show only to do's which is related to login user so user equal to request dot user that's it now we have to save object dot save in our model and now return our render request to do dot html now we have to check our code is working or not so we have to go into our sign up page now we log in tiger now we check our to do is added or not in our models so we check our to do so you can see that our to do is not added so we check our code so title is spelling is missing. so title now save now we add a new task so post method is not capital so we have to write in capital post now save and now add our task read books add a task now we check our to do is created or not as you can see that our task is added read books now we have to print our to do's in this section so we have to get our to do's from models and pass into our objects so now create a race race variable and in race variable we have to models dot to do dot objects dot filter we have to filter only user with user to do's so we filter this to do's filter user equal to user request dot choose and now we have to show that to do's by date so dot order and we have to redirect into our to do page so return 
redirect and in this page we have to send our data so race in object in the form of objects so rest now copy this line and paste it there and control s now we have to show in our HTML file. So we have to show our data in HTML file. Now we have to show multiple to dos. So we use a loop. So we used for loop for showing multiple to dos. So for to do in res res we already send by views function. Now we have to close our for loop and four now in this we have to create one div which is name is div dot to do and in this uh, we have to show our serial number so in h5 we show in our serial number so to do dot SRI to serial number and uh, in P tag we have to show our title so to do dot title which is our task and uh, now we have to create edit and delete button so do you delete anchor tag now we have to show the user which user is logging so hello with the help of user now that's correct now we use two icons first one is edit and the second is delete delete so we select this icon and now copy and now paste it its link its link is already we inject in our code font icon font or something now we have to put one more icon now copy and paste it and one more icon is needed log out so log out we use this now copy and paste here now we have to send our objects in our HTML file. So we send our objects res res. Now control s. Now we check our to do is showing show or not. So you can see that our to do is showing. and we have to add one more task one more task so you can see that our task is added now i have to edit this task so we have to write a function for edit so now we're writing our edit function def edit to do when request pass now we have to write our url of to do edit so path now 
now views dot views dot edit to do how can we know that uh, which to do is edited so we write our serial number with the help of serial number we edit this to do so our model will edit this to do and a name equal to edit to do that's it now we have to make a template of edit to do because this is the different part of to do page so we have to create one more template which is name is edit to do edit to do dot html in this we copy the code of to do dot html and now we paste it so we pasted our edited to do code now in this we have to change something mm, now we update update task control this and something more change now we have to transfer the edit to do with the help of this link in this we write our url path edit to do slash so it will automatically come by uh, by our serial number so our serial number is to do dot SRM control s and now in this we have to update our task so first of all we have to put the value of previous task so we have to fetch the previous task with the help of title so we fetch the title by models so first of all we have to write the function of view function of edit to do so in view function we write ting edit to do so same code of to do it is used in this so copy this code and now clear the pass and paste it now if request dot method equal to equal to post so we get a title from our uh, add task and uh, print the title for in the console and so now we have to update the task so we have to not save in title so we delete this line and get to do dot objects dot get get method is used for update so get and uh, with the help of serial number we find our task so sreno equal to sreno and uh, we passed our serial number when request uh, when the request is held so sreno serial number now now we have to update our old task into new task so obj dot title equal to new title and now save and this is not needed now redirect to to do page and and this line is also put in this sorry this line now we have to fetch our previous value of the to do so we fetched by we have in value we have to add value equal to And in this, so now we passed our title. Title is 
obj dot vector control s now we check our code is working or not first of all we save our all files now we check our code is working or not so first of all we're going to our login page and now we log in and enter in our username is buddha and password and now login now we have to edit this task so we so it is not come there we have to pass obj because we store new title in obj so control s and now we will check now go to our to do page now edit Oh no, edit. So now we edit our task. So our task is come, and now we have to edit this task. So we have to change this task and one, two, three tasks. Update tasks. You can see that our task is edited. Now we have to delete this task. So we have to write the view function of delete. So now so we write in our view function of delete. So first of all we write our URL of delete. So we include our delete path also. So path delete to do slash how can we know that uh, which to do i have to delete from the models so with the help of integer means uh, we have to find our serial number so we find our serial number with the help of this so we passed our serial number in url now views dot delete to do comma and now control set so now we have to put a delete url in our delete button so in to do dot html we have to put a our url so delete to do slash and we passed our serial number so to do dot serial number and save control s now we have to write our view function of delete. So we write our view function of delete. So def delete to do when request. And, we, and also give serial number. So first of all, we fetch the serial number which is deleted. So we this copy this and paste it. Now we have to delete the object which is obj dot delete query and now we have to redirect to our to do page. So redirect to our to do page so to do page that's it. So now we check our code is working on the so we're going to and delete this first of all we refresh this page now we delete this task delete so delete to do what an unexpected keyword or sorry so we didn't write serial number full yes our URLs. 
it's uh, now save and check and now refresh so you can see that our task is deleted one more task we delete read books so we deleted this now i want to delete these tasks so delete this so you can see see that our task is deleted so a delete function is also working so now we have to make a sign out button so first of all we have to create sign out button uh, so we create there so leave in this div we have to create anchor tag and in this anchor tag so this div class name is anchor anchor and in this we passed the sign out uh, url so sign out And we put this icon into anchor tag. And class for to sign. Now save. Now we have to map this sign out URL into URLs dot by. So we have to include path sign out. Reviews dot sign out and name equal to sign out. Now we have to write a view function of this sign out. So we are writing sign out function there. Sign out request and log out request and then we return redirect to our login page. Now we check our code is working or not. So first of all, we have to refresh this page. You can see this, our username is also showing. Now we log out our page. So you can see that it is working and one more thing we have to added in this page uh, decorators so decorator is used for only authenticated user can access the login page so we add the login decorators in views so we import decorators from Django from django.country dot auth import decorators login decorators and we have to import login required so we put this login required for to do Non authenticated user cannot access this page at that login required. So, login URL you have to redirect to login. So, we have to put this to edit to do also and delete to do also. 
and control s now we test our application so first of all we have to sign up so username is raj raj at the gmail.com and password is and our username is raj and password one yeah. so you can see that our we log in with the username of raj now we add a task five minutes for logout we added task now i want to edit this task so no five glass of water drink so you can see that our task is also edited now i want to delete this task so delete this task so delete it now i want to log out this page so i log out so you can see that we log out so our project is completed now you can find the css in our source code thank you for watching